Oh man, I'm starving. I'm gonna die here if I don't find any more food. Victory condition. Kill all zombies. Defeat condition. Everyone dies. New party member. X. Can inflict high melee damage on a single enemy. New zombie. An ordinary zombie. They're everywhere now. Selecting party member. Select a party member to move or attack. Welcome to Tran Wins. Wanna survive. I actually played this a couple minutes ago, but I didn't like how the mouse cursor was uh, a default uh, cursor. So I went and I stopped, aborted everything, and then installed a custom cursor, and now we're doing this again. Let me show you how to get a flawless on this map. Instead of charging in and attacking an enemy, just hug the ball. Now, you may think, like, well, that, that's not going to work any... No, that, that'd be fine. I don't get any extra points for this, so it doesn't even matter. I'm going to insert this into my playthrough anyways. Struggling. Melee. Party members who are caught will struggle and are unable to move. The zombie that grabs them will attack on its next turn. Being attacked during struggle. A party member can only struggle against one zombie at any given time. If a member is struggling, other zombies can attack them immediately. Alright. So to, you're, I'm going to kill this dude so he won't bite me. Sounds normal, right? I, I still get to keep my hearts. I have two hearts. And you're thinking, well, there's two zombies. They're going to they're gonna struggle with you. Well, sure. If they were smart, this zombie would go here and this zombie would go here. And I'd have two enemies contacting my character, resulting in one heart lost. They're not smart. They act independently, which is good for me. And that's better for the game, I think. So you'll see that I can now chop him up. And so, yeah. Flawless tutorial. That you don't get any extra coins for this though. Canned food. A can of food. Its contents are well preserved. A map with North City marked as its destination. The city is labeled as Sanctuary. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, resume the live commentary. Finally, some food. And what's this? A map. There's a marked destination on it. Sanctuary. Don't come near me. Go away. Crap. Oh no. Help! Defeat condition. Anyone dies. Zombie incoming. Struggling ranged. Ranged party members who are struggling are not only unable to move, but are also unable to attack. Push a party member away to save them. Hot key, right mouse button. That's pretty brutal. Regular old coin. It won't buy you any food, but it can buy you a second chance. The camp. Share food. Every unit of food restores 1 HP. Going hungry will reduce 1 HP. All right. I... Yeah, I was wounded. She's not, so... <laughs> it's the logical choice, but maybe not the, the emotional choice. Starvation. Party members with 1 HP left will be starved if they are left hungry. Going hungry again after they are starved, they are starved will lead to death. Death is permanent. Party members who die cannot be revived, and having less members will increase the difficulty of later stages. It's like party member to chat with them. We're going to starve if we don't find more food. Thank you. Um, I noticed that you have North City marked on your map. I'm going there too. P please let me join you. Camp ravaged by the undead. There's no one left here.
I like to check everything out before moving on with stuff. An old part of town that's dotted with small factories. Daddy! They're everywhere! Where do we go? To the left! Run into the left! Well, actually, it's your, to your right, but yeah. Hurry! Victory condition. Everyone reaches target location or kill all zombies. Defeat condition. Everyone dies. New party member. Handgun. Can inflict range damage on a single enemy. New party member. Shotgun. Can inflict range damage on multiple enemies. Attack range. A warning sign will appear above a party member if they are within any zombie's attack range. Be aware of everyone's position and try to stay out of attack range. So if I'm right next to him... Oh, it, it can target him. It will do three damage there. Three damage there. Huh, okay. is gone. There's no time to find your hair clip now. Come on, we have to keep moving. But, but that's mommy's. Forget it, sweetie. Let's go. Nice! And so it does one damage to the, after it punctures, okay. A decomposing zombie. Having less flesh to weigh them down allows them to move faster, but also makes them more fragile. Oh, he had an exclamation point. Like, uh, you know what? I don't really want to mess with him. That's what he's probably thinking. I feel like just right-click should just activate the push instead of toggle. Where did they go? One, two, three, four, okay. <laughs> Push to kill! Okay, I wondered about that. Uh. 
a bunny hair clip. A cute looking hair clip with a pink bunny on it. I'm not sure what happens if I push a person into a zombie. Will that hurt them? It probably will, because I think the box took one point of damage. No, the box took one point of damage because it... Yeah, okay, I don't think it will hurt them. So in that case, I can probably... do this. Those other boxes were things that were meant to be looted. New item! A radio that's run out of batteries. It's in good shape, and clearly important to its owner. But a radio without power is nothing but a block of metal. Is there any point to giving anybody else any food? Let's see here. If I feed them, yeah, if I feed them now, then they'll be hungry on day three. And then I would need to feed them on day four. So that'd be two food per person. But if I don't feed them now, then they'll be hungry day two and I need to feed them on day three. I guess it is better. We'll just ration it out then. That girl has the same hair color as Captain. I hope she's still alive. I heard it on the radio. They want all survivors to go to North City. But the batteries ran dry, so that's all I know. What are you looking at? Go away! Wow, that's rude. Huh? That's... that's my hair clip! Th thank you! This radio? Apart from my daughter, this is probably the most important thing to me right now. I'd do anything to keep it safe. Factory. A canned food factory. It's unclear why the zombies are surrounding it. Help! My family's trapped inside! Please help me get rid of those monsters! Please! Hmm. We can take advantage of all the crates here by pushing them to form a barrier.
new party member. Stick can inflict low melee damage on a single enemy in all directions. New party member. Fist can knock back and inflict melee damage on a single enemy. So do one to everybody. No, I just want to cancel. So I gotta search all these boxes for stuff? Like, there's probably nothing in them, but I gotta check anyways. Now, I had checked, um, before I bought this game, I checked two different videos of, it, of people playing, and it doesn't look like you automatically get the loot inside the boxes when you defeat the enemies, so that's why I'm having to kill everybody, or destroy all the boxes. Like, that's an extra food I wouldn't have otherwise found. So I think what I'll do is, uh, when I'm just searching items, I'll probably fast forward that section. Yeah. 
All right, I searched all the boxes. One half of a crumpled piece of paper. We're at the hotel, Papa. Inside the fact there were traces of it being lived in at some point, but there was no one around. Thank you very much for watching Tran Wins, Wanna Survive. See you next time.